Hello, hi from the Johnsons, Testimony Tuesday. We wanted to start out today's Testimony Tuesday with gratitude. It is November and the month of being grateful and thankful. And uh, three of the people we wanted to highlight for gratitude is, well, more than three people, because I wanted to highlight my team. The Johnson Home Team, uh, Brittany, Autumn, Jess are amazing. Um, Katie, you as well. Uh, they have been my huge support as we've been traveling. We've been gone for uh. 70 days. And uh, it's, it, I wouldn't be able to run my business um, as I'm gone without them. And so yeah. very grateful for them that they encouraged me to go do this and uh, they take care of everything. Second person is uh, LaVon, Grandma LaVon. She's kind of handling a lot of stuff back home and uh, getting mail for us and keeping us up to date as we're, uh, as we're traveling. And uh, she's been a huge help to us as well um, back home. That and I forget what that was. And then he also, uh, Sonia and Chris, um, they have been a huge help because, as you've noticed, we don't have Tiki with us, and uh, they have been uh, loving Tiki uh, since we've been gone. And uh, just she's been in great hands. We know that they love her. I think maybe even more than we do. We love her a lot. So um, thanks, Sonia and Chris, for for that. So we're grateful for that group of people and many others. But we just want to highlight them. Um, here in this video. Yeah. The next thing we want to talk about is top three things that we've learned so far and then we wanted to give testimony and updates. So Sarah will kind of kick that off with the uh, top three things. Yeah, so the primary question that people have been asking us is what is the most beautiful place that you've been to so far? What is your favorite landscape? And honestly, I think we've just found that there is beauty everywhere. It yeah. just looks different. So right now you're joining us in um, outside of Surprise, Arizona, which is outside of Phoenix. And there's cactus. Like I didn't actually think cactus was this, this beautiful, but they are gorgeous. Like we're in the desert. We got mountains surrounding us and these huge cacti or cactuses everywhere and small ones on the ground. But then there's, there's just like diverse vegetation everywhere we go that has totally fascinated me. We were like in the rainforest of Oregon and um, and then like in Banff it was the pine tree forest with the birch trees that were just changing color mixed in. That was gorgeous. So we've had mountains, we've had plains, we've had lakes to oceans. Of course we love the ocean, that's gorgeous. And now we're in the desert. So yeah. the answer to that question is, I, it's really hard to pick a favorite spot right. because every place has something unique to offer. Mm -hmm. Number two learning on this trip is that there are wonderful people everywhere. Yeah. So along with the diverse terrain, there's also diverse populations of people and different ways of living that yeah. we had to get out of our comfort zone of the Minnesota and Minnesota nice to explore. And so we've really, I don't know if you want to speak to that, but we've really enjoyed meeting people along the way, along our journey, and realizing that there's good people everywhere. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, you know, to, we, we feel like actually as we travel, everyone we bump into is kind of a divine appointment, right? Yeah. And uh, it, it has been, and we've been able to encourage and build people up, and they've done the same to us, you know, mm -hmm. they've just been, you guys are awesome, and tell us about our family and all that stuff, which has been yeah. really fun, so. We are extremely grateful for uh, that opportunity to meet these amazing people that we've crossed paths with and become instant friends with them right away. Campgrounds or if it's places we visit, all those kind of things. Yep. So uh, it's been awesome. Awesome. And our third point, our third learning is that relationships are more important and meaningful than the places that we've seen. Yeah. Or even that relationships add to the beauty of the place is really, I think, what we've found. Um, because when we ask the kids like what their favorite thing has been so far, it's always tied to somebody that we've seen or a new friend that they've made along the way. It's rarely like, oh, I just loved that lake and glacier. It's usually like, oh, I love spending time with Uncle Scott in Livingston and then going to Yellowstone. It's right. not just Yellowstone by itself. Um, so th that's my encouragement today is, is that so into the relationships that you have and make new ones because we are not meant to live alone. We are meant right. to live in community. Yep. And so that's that's feeds into our testimony. Yep. Our our testimony today is is that um, the, the relationships that we have sewed into and that we have been able to especially encounter people along our trip have been so worth it. Have brought a ton of fruit from mm -hmm. this trip. 
So along our way, we have been able to um, see people. Started out actually with my mom in Spearfish. She was coming from Montana as we were going west. She was going east. We met in Spearfish. She was able to watch Josh race at the Dakota 5-0. And then we went and we saw my brother and then and my sister-in-law Pam. And then we met the Canoers up in Canada. And so later today, I will do a post probably from Josh's Facebook page on all of the people that we have seen along our way. Because literally, I think it's every single state we've been able to connect with somebody. Yesterday, we just spent the day with Jim and Carol Smith here in, in um, Surprise, Arizona. Such a blessing. It's, it's amazing. And so there have been people also that we haven't been able to see. Yeah. And... We're just planning on coming back. We'll we'll get you the next time. Yeah. <laughs> but that's also encouraging. Like there are amazing friends like spread out throughout the United States. Um, so we are thankful for each of you also that have blessed you, blessed us with your time because yeah. we know like you're working, you have a schedule, and so we just I just really appreciate the time that people have taken to have dinner with us and to go to the beach with us, whatever that may look like. Um, for you so that has been really fun yeah they just honored us so well and uh just we we just see how blessed we are because of the amazing friendships that we have and family we have on this journey and uh we just want to continue to reach out and you know be good friends or family as well so we just want to say bless you and thanks for being with us on this journey um we are now in phoenix arizona and we're actually heading east so we're making our trek homeward and uh, looking forward to being back in Minnesota around Thanksgiving. So we yeah. still got another two, three weeks, but uh, we look forward to seeing you all very soon and uh, tell you even more about our journey. But we'll have some more videos along the way um, as we journey back, but that's kind of thing. Uh, it's, you know, we keep making these steps and moving and we just kind of follow kind of how things work out and it's been, uh, it's been huge. So we're, we're gonna go about another 30 days longer than we anticipated, but uh, <laughs> We're excited to come back and see everybody. Yeah, so it's been good. Anyway, bless you guys. Hope yeah. you have a great Tuesday, and I uh, look forward to talking to you soon. All right, bye. bye.